So here we can all agree that we have a direct light that is the fireplace. Um, if it's going, it's going to be very uh, quickly done, so it's not going to be uh, nice to see. But, <laughs> but uh, if the fireplace, I'm going to take a dark color, is not lit, and just like this, it's going to give just a colored um, like this. So here we have that scene without direct light, which means that we have a dark room. We can, we can say that it is a dark room because technically, once again, if you have a more, I would say, scientific uh, uh, In the dark room, they usually color light. the lights blue. Like, yeah, they and can, like yeah. illuminate just small moonlight mm -hmm. shines you know, from the window. Yeah. That's where yeah, I think course. the bowl color it, palette also it came could be, from. It could be blue, actually, if I can find it's getting, yeah. Uh, I would say it could yeah. be like that. Yeah, they change the, the, the contrast blue. exactly like this. Yeah, and forget the greenish uh, ugly uh, uh, chair, but it could <laughs> yeah. be it could be that way, actually. It could be that way. So we can say that in UPS style, it's, it's uh, you can do the choice however you want. It, the, the place could be green. The, the room could be green. Uh, if you have a more scientific way of doing your lights, uh, which is not the case for you, but I'm going to show it anyway, uh, the place would be so much darker. And you, had a, um, you would have a fireplace, once again, direct light here, super strong. Like super strong, direct light because uh, they... There is no other light source in that, in that room. So you have a very strong here and here. And then you have right here, like that. Like that, I believe. Like this, like this, like this. And then you have, it's going to be quick and totally not precise enough, but I hope you understand my points. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like this a little bit more and a little bit more like this, like that. Uh, yeah, it's very quick, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit weird. It's fine. It could be like this. And let's say that you have a window with, once again, because we are in an animated uh, movie, cartoon stuff, with a very strong diffuse light. We have, uh, oops. We have like a um, moon moonlight once again because we are in a nighttime uh, atmosphere. So this moonlight will be super uh, weak, like this. I don't know exactly what's the object right there, but it's okay. It's a Even drawer. Like, it's a vault oh, okay, style, okay. like a Tim Burton one. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. I think. So it would be like that, but it wouldn't like lead more than this because this light source here is stronger. So we don't really, if you put it in black and white, you instantly know which one is the direct light, which one is the diffuse light. Yeah. And here, I would say, uh, for example, if we, I'm not sure it's going to be a good idea to show that here, but yeah, okay, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, can, it, can, it can be, uh, see that if you can do like, I would say a character, so you're going to do like a silhouette. You put, oh, too, not opaque enough. Uh, you put like a silhouette here, someone that is, you know, um, very lit by the close direct light source. Let's keep it in black and white, actually, to stay focused on, on, on lights and not colors for now. 
we are going to have this character right here that is lit a lot of support like this okay and he would receive this light of the fire and he will be a reflective subject that will reflect the light here on that part but in very once again subtle way because the bounce light is always weaker than the direct light so it would be like this once again it's the scientific a bit more scientific approach right here it would be like this actually yeah so to get back to the upa style uh which was a great uh it's it's a great question um i'm sorry it's not the thing that i wanted to do here here forget about that forget about that okay great great okay um, so that's why UPA style still has a light and color theory that is um, ultra super simplified.